Okay, so this next news is personally for me, I love this type of news. So NFTs are a game changer for independent artists and musicians. Okay, so I love this because, um, or like uh, me, uh, artists, think about artists like uh, before pre-internet, okay? They had to go to these labels, the labels had all the leverage, the artists didn't have any leverage, so the label just could give them bad deal and basically milk the artist for their money and their career, okay? But now the tables have turned and there's uh, the internet, but not only that, there's even coming NFTs. So think about this, when an artist creates a song, okay? And it can sell that song and every time that song uh, somebody else c can also sell that song and when somebody else sells that the artist always gets the uh, profit so let's say, let, let me let me rephrase that so let, let's think about the uh, mona lisa is, uh, in nfts okay the mona lisa and then the uh, uh, founder uh, or not the founder but the you know creator of mona lisa sells the mona lisa for thousand dollars Okay, but after 20 years, um, the Mona Lisa's value raises to million dollars. And now the artist who sold it for thousand dollars is like, dang. But if it's NFT, when the pe people who bought the Mona Lisa for thousand dollars and now it's worth of million dollars, sells it for million dollars, the, uh, the artist still get, gets cut from that. Okay, so the artist always gets paid. Think about that. It's going to be, that, that's just basically uh, NFTs, okay? Uh, and it's it's going to get crazy, okay? So NFTs are a game changer for independent artists and musicians. It's, I think that it's nobody. It's going to change it so much that it's very hard for us to even see into the future. Uh, so think about the internet. I remember like ten years ago, I saw, like I when I used the internet, I never thought that I thought that that was it, okay? But now when 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 more things have rolled out and th things are getting more interesting. It just it's it it just grows and grows and grows. I think that the internet is still very undervalued, like in itself. Also, so anyway, so here you can see top businessman and media moguls Mark Cuban, and Gary Vaynerchuk. We all know that still strongly advocate NFT use. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk even rolled it's his own NFT project. He did the NFT project perfectly. I mean, he's he's just crazy, uh, crazy, uh, smart guy. So JC's Twitter profile picture is an NFT crypto punk. Okay, <laughs> think about that. Okay, so that's just uh, fun stuff here. Okay, so here's some of the so lesser known uh, artists such as Verit and uh, Jack Fox have made tens of thousands of US dollars selling NFTs. The artist Young and Slick, Young and Sick, uh, had only twenty seven thousand followers on Instagram when he sold NFT for almost million dollars. Think about that. It's great. <laughs> like think about that. That's crazy. Okay, so. Here's uh, what Sp uh, uh, Spotify pays on average around 0 0.003 to 0 0.005 per stream that equates around, you know, $3,000 per uh, million streams. Okay, so that's pretty crazy. But here's NFTs can also have recurring revenue. They can code it so that the original rate receives anywhere from 2.5 to 10% of sale every time the token is being resold. So that's what I talk about when the Mona Lisa, you know. Even though if the if the price increases, the artist will always get paid. There's there's a lot of applications for it. It's crazy. So even in India, where I live, NFTs. So the writer, I don't live in India. I live in Europe. But anyway, so NFTs and cryptocurrency are gaining in popularity. Currently, over 50 million people in India hold around 6.6 .6 billion worth of cryptocurrency. Like that's crazy. It's crazy. I just love. We are so early on the blockchain still. The cryptocurrency. I'm so grateful have this opportunity i'm so grateful that you are watching this video right now thank you so much and let's jump into the next news but before that quickly comment down below what you think about nfts and you know just comment down below what you think about nft like do you understand nfts do you hate nfts do you love nfts like what's what's happening with you and your nfts okay do you own nfts maybe okay so i personally own a couple of nfts and um yeah it's i, just, I love it anyway so let's jump into the next news